If you have an invention and you're thinking about getting a patent, one of the very first things that you need to find out is, is the invention new? And pretty much the only way that that's going to happen, basically, to figure out whether your invention is new, is somebody's going to have to do a search. And one of the things I like to let people know is that getting started with this is free and you'd almost have to be crazy or have somebody else who's going to handle it for you just automatically um, for you to just go to an attorney blind and have no idea whether your invention is new or not. Um, the thing that I want to teach you is how to do a quick search and get some real quality results really not taking a lot of time and the best way to do that that I know of is to use Google Patents. Um, it's simple, it's a lot like the regular Google search in that you put something in there, just a string of a few terms, and you're going to get some results that are pretty worthwhile and pretty quick. Um, to go to Google Patents, all you have to do is go into the search bar in your browser, type patents.google.com, um, and it's going to bring you to the page that you see right here. And um, this page is really just the simple search page for Google Patents. You can uh, do two different types of search, simple search and advanced search. Um, if you click down here at the bottom, it has the advanced search. And it's going to bring you to a search page that has a lot more options and you can do a lot more complicated work in that. Um, anytime you want to toggle one way or the other, if you're in advanced search and you want to go back to simple search, just click on the icon up here, it'll bring you back to Google Patents. If you want to go to Advanced Search, go back down, click Advanced Search. Um, but this is really a tutorial for a simple search. So what you're going to want to do is say you're searching for a toy of some sort. Um, just start typing concepts. If uh, I'm going to use a four concept invention and um, let's just say you have a soccer ball a basket, a stick, and a light. Okay, and uh, you can see there's this little grayed out box here, and it shows you how Google is interpreting just the string of words that you've put there. Um, here it sees soccer ball, and it thinks soccer ball is not just soccer the game and ball, any type of ball. It's interpreting it as a soccer ball. So um, you kind of get what you get um, when Google parses your search strings in a simple search, but it does a pretty decent job. And uh, it'll generally only pair together terms that really seem like they go together. Um, so the thing that you'll do, type in your string of uh, four concepts in this case and click on that all of your uh, viewing of search results is going to be in this advanced search type setting. So don't worry about that. What you want to do once you get all those concepts in there is um, browse those results. So you can go up and down looking, um, depending on whether the thing that you're looking at is particularly visual, you may focus on um, the images here, or you may see and try to determine what uh, say the soccer ball if you look at the word soccer ball as it is highlighted in these results you may look for a particular context um, the main idea that you want um, to accomplish here is to find a single piece of prior art or multiple pieces of prior art that are very close to what it is that you've invented so you scroll through and you look if you find something that's really close write it down write down the patent number the next thing that you want to do, and you can go as deep as you want. You can go, there's pages and pages. Up here, it says there's 816 results. So if you want to, you can go through every single one of those results and you'll get value out of that. Um, one thing, Google does sort these. It takes all of those terms and it tries to decide what is most relevant. So as you go through these results, you're going to get um, if Google has done the sorting correctly, progressively less and less valuable results as you go through. And if you're on page 25, 
you're probably going to be seeing results that are significantly less valuable than what you saw on the first page. You never know, there may be some nuggets that are hidden 25, 30 pages deep. Um, okay, so that's the concept. Do a search, go through the results. Once you feel like you're not getting um, quality progress anymore, go back here and up on the top left side, you see all of these terms. And one of the things I want to encourage you to do is that the closest reference may or may not have every single concept that you have. So you have all these four concepts together. That's a pretty good search because it's got the four concepts. It's the main thing that you're looking for. But one thing you may want to do is get rid of one of those concepts because if there's a game that has all of those features and not light, just click, click the X, get rid of it, and all of a sudden you're going to get a different set of results. There may be a great number of results that are in common, but you're going to get a different result set. So then you can go back in here and put light again. And then another easy search is just to get rid of another one. Um, that makes, if you go through and eliminate one by one each element, so you do a search with eliminating each element, that's four additional searches that could potentially give you quality results. And those deeper searches, um, in, in this case, anytime you're eliminating something, you're doing a broader search than the original search. Another thing that you can do is go and broaden your search a different way. So if you go with the uh, basket and you want to add some different concepts, add some, uh, say, maybe your basket could be a uh, hoop. And then if you want to add another one, press tab. And then say, maybe it could be a uh, cup. And press tab so that it goes ahead and registers and comes up with the search results associated with that. And then what you have is um, that particular group of search terms are broadened out. So um, it's going to increase the number of results that you get and it's going to change the um, total composition of the results. So this may be something that you want to look for. Um, you really want to focus on those critical features and you can add synonyms which broadens out your search or you can add additional search concepts every time if you're on light and you press enter I'm sorry if you press enter you get down and you uh, have another concept and you can put toy and then it just keeps narrowing the more you put in here every time you press enter and you bring in another level you keep getting narrower and narrower results and um, that's how um, you do some simple searching is put some new terms in, take some terms out, do a little broadening, do a little narrowing. And I think that if you do that, it's just a couple of simple concepts and uh, you should get a really good start for an idea of whether your invention is new or not. You can also get professional searching done later, but um, if you can spend 20 minutes or an hour on this and uh, before you start spending money to ask an attorney or get a search done, um, it'll just give you a really good start.